This is Aaron with ANET Computers from ANETcomputers.com again with another possible potential fix for an issue you are having with your computer. This one deals with networking, but more specifically on Windows computers, Microsoft Windows operating system computers. Network error. Fix network error in your webmail account. When trying to access your webmail account, you keep getting a following message, quote, network error, TCP error, transmission control protocol error, a communication error occurred, operation timed out, the web server may be down, too busy, or experiencing other problems preventing it from responding to a request. You may wish to try again at a later time. For assistance, contact your network support team. That's a quite lengthy error but I've actually seen that error a few times try clearing your DNS domain name system cache by flushing your DNS table so these instructions are now for Windows XP in Windows XP click start then select run and type CMD in that dialog box which brings you to a black DOS prompt once there, type ipconfig forward slash flush DNS and then enter. That is ipconfig with a space between ipconfig and a forward slash with flush DNS. Reboot your computer and try to access your webmail to make sure that fix stays permanent. And then these are instructions for Windows Vista. In Windows Vista, you would click start then in a search box you would type CMD which brings you to a black DOS prompt and then once there you type in ipconfig flush DNS and then enter that is ipconfig with a space between ipconfig and a forward slash with flush DNS reboot your computer and try to access your webmail to make sure that fix stays permanent on Windows 7 those Windows Vista instructions might help you to perform a flush DNS on Windows 7. You can flush your DNS cache on other operating system platforms, for example, Linux and Mac, to resolve some network errors. So if you are familiar with flushing your DNS cache on Linux or Mac, you would use those commands that are appropriate for whichever operating system you are running. This can also be a useful tip for any time you have network problems. Let's say all of a sudden you're on Facebook or Google or whatever. Just you notice that all of a sudden you are surfing the web normally. All of a sudden you get network errors, you get timeout errors, or your the speed has really slowed down. There's quite a bit more of a delay when browsing to websites. Sometimes you can quickly tell because it's it's across the board. It doesn't matter what website you browse to. So one tip is to flush your DNS cache. It could be just your local DNS cache. Web browsers like Internet Explorer, they store a DNS cache. And then really what on Microsoft, what your computer does is it looks for your host file and then if it doesn't see a DNS address with its IP address in your host file then it goes out to your DNS server from your ISP or whatever DNS server you use well sometimes your local computer caches those IP addresses in DNS it I, I, I think it caches all of them every session it depends on the operating system etc it depends on how your settings are configured but I would say straight out of the box Windows machines will automatically cache those DNS entries well sometimes that DNS cache gets corrupted what happens is the entry might be incorrect and then you'll get strange errors you're like well I was accessing my webmail just moments ago how could this be now it could be a problem with your with that web server but what I'm saying is it could also be a problem with your computer locally so 
one of the first things I suggest to my customers if they do have this problem, a network problem where they get network errors or they just all of a sudden have troubles browsing the internet is flush your DNS cache. Now, you could reboot your computer, but still, even if you reboot your computer, it might not necessarily flush your DNS successfully. That's why you want to run that command. You want to flush your DNS cache using a command prompt, a command line, either on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Even on Linux, sometimes you just have to. Or that's just one tip, one way to solve that problem. And I just use this as an example because I helped a customer fix their issue. So it's not just webmail. It could, anytime you're surfing the internet or anytime you notice strange oddities, you're getting strange network errors, you could just try to flush your DNS. You don't necessarily have to flu excuse me, reboot your computer, but I recommend you do that. I recommend you flush your DNS and then also reboot that computer. But sometimes I've cleared up network oddities like that just by flushing that DNS. But it's recommended to go ahead and reboot your computer anyways and just to make sure that, like in my blog post, that it stays permanent. So anyways, hopefully that tip helps you fix that network error or it, hopefully the this tip, I guess, helps you fix other potential network errors or network problems that you are receiving that might have to do with your DNS cache. So you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other potential fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.